Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. So I'm standing in Amsterdam and it's one of my favorite cities. So today I'm going to explore the city. Uh, it's still evening time so we will see what we do, all the things. Uh, it's 1.30 now already and it took 2 hours and 30 minutes to reach here from Ghent. And uh, yeah, let's go. It's a really nice city you can see. I'm starting already from the really nice bridge and the water. So let's go. Actually, it's always nice to see a lot of cycle here. Of course, Amsterdam is really popular for cycling also, uh, and also the Denmark and yeah, Belgium. We also have a really many places for cycling and things. You see here, everywhere, the cycles. It's a little bit dangerous also actually because they have not really rules actually. They just keep going and yeah, of course, in some places they stop, but still yeah. So yeah. It's nice walking around. Actually, the weather is quite nice today. I wouldn't say it's hot because last time when I was in Paris, it was really hot and now it's really nice weather. So it's not hot, it's not cold. It's quite nice to enjoy here. Let's see. I'm almost in the center and uh, then we are going to see some museums and areas. I arrived in the Wondel Park. Actually, they call that Wondel Park because that was one writer uh, in 17th century and uh, they give the name from that uh, writer. It's quite nice to walk around and spend time. It's a really big park, so and it's in the center area. So we are going to a little bit chill here because I just drive two hours, 30 minutes and a bit tired. So first I'm going to a little bit chill here and after that we will st start go to the center side. So let's go. I'm going to show you around also. So, well, nice to sit here. People are doing uh, cycling and uh, walking here. I'm just next to the museums. We are going. I don't know if it's actually open because it's uh, Friday, uh, Sunday. And uh, let's see if it's possible. They have a boat tours. They have uh, many more things also. So let's go to explore and then see. So I thought museum in the end of first is. My favorite point, look at this place. This is the bridge actually when you just cross from the park and uh, you enter to the center uh, market area. But they have the also boat where you can take the boat. You can see these. And that's the best point for photos. It's, it's really nice actually. I can't explain how I really like actually there. So we are going to actually here uh, to explore the restaurant areas and a little bit to see the center and on the way back we will come to the museums so let's go and see the scene actually if you visit to Amsterdam and you have a lot of money don't forget to come here actually that's the Holland casino you can spend a lot of money here <laughs> okay let's go look what I found for my home collection they have a nice cups actually last time I saw in video said I like to collect something from the cities and countries when I visit them and I found something really nice the cup for Amsterdam. It's nice when you drink coffee and tea and that and actually you remember your trip. So let's go to see how much is and to buy this. I bought this cup for 9 euro. A new one for my collection. And actually let me know when you visit to the other countries or city what do you like to buy? Let me know in the comments. Look what I found here. <laughs> it's really many actually, look here. They made it really park and they made it really many here. 
actually in Amsterdam they have a quite good system also if you visit without car I am in the car but in the center you can go anywhere they have a really fancy kind of drum also so it's easy to reach to our area actually I'm just arrived now to the center uh, to the shopping street so we're going to see the shopping street it's three o'clock no food now time to have food so I found here a restaurant they call that Crystal so let's try what they have actually Arabic uh, restaurant they had uh, quite many things uh, but it's almost like the same which Turkish we mostly eat actually shawarma and like these things uh, but I'm going to try they have a uh, pizzas also so let's try I hope it's nice normally in uh, Belgium when I order I also order from Turkish actually the pizza but it's really tasty so we are going to try that uh, shawarma pizza My food is arrived. I ordered pizza, but it's quite small. And uh, I also ordered that for me, the, they call that uh, splitter kind of things. And I'm going to show you the video in the description. Let's try. It's like a meat with some uh, spices and things. It's really tasty, actually. Good side food. And see you outside. The food was nice actually. It was Arabic uh, restaurant from country, uh, I think from Syria. But they had all food more like a with West kind of touch. So it was like a Muslim food with West, uh, West touch. Uh, and uh, yeah, pizza is of course Italian, but you can find everywhere with a different uh, way they make. Uh, but uh, I'm here with a shopping street. And we are going to see now the shopping street also and then go further. to the market they call it bloom market it's mean uh, where you can find uh, many kind of seeds for the flowers and for the trees you can see everywhere they have everywhere shops with the seeds for and many kind of flowers it's quite really popular actually many people come here on the weekends and uh, they have a market also here it's a small uh, street but they have a really long place for the things to see. We will walk here and after that we are going further to see a little more. behind me if you can see that's also really popular they call it old Amsterdam cheese they have a really big and easy and actually yeah so the street I already walk around uh, and now going back to the shopping street uh, and we will go from shopping street uh, to the other side so I will try It's really nice. They have live music here. <laughs> Let's go. Actually, that's another point where you can also take a boat. The boat also costs that's 13 euro, and for kids is 9 euro. And from here also you can take the boat. 
it was also where we enter actually that was also the place and this is the other uh, point I arrive in the big square they call that dam and in front of that if you see behind me that's the royal peril palace so we are going to close a little bit to the royal palace and see that also and actually that's the square where they, they will protest also all actually I see that they're doing protests here for Syria also and also they're against them the other one also so I found one drink if you visit to Amsterdam the shop the name is that sweet tree and actually that's like a milk and some nice kind of flavors you can choose and it's awesome actually I never tried this kind of drink before so definitely try that so that's called the Grachten actually Grachten is in the Netherlands it's mean like a water because you know in Amsterdam everywhere it's like these kind of places if you see in the map also you will see like a water and then like a, uh, they made it uh, markets and things and then again water that's really uh, in the past that was for the security and things but now people are enjoying now here and they enjoying and I'm on the way to to that firm museum I arrive actually to the Wester Kerke it's quite it's a church they call Wester Kerke uh, it's from 17th century and actually they had a tower so that's where the special tower they call it. I mean, really beautiful place actually. Here is the water, and I arrived actually to the place where I was coming to see. So that's the museum, yeah, about Anna Frank. Uh, that she was actually German, Jewish who was living in Netherlands and uh, that was in World War, Second World War. Uh, she was hidden in this house actually for two years with the family. And then of course they got her and brought her to the camp and she died there. And that time actually she wrote the diary and that's become quite popular. So now they made a museum here and of course that's house here and many people come to see the house. So we are going to see also a little bit here. I'm in the area actually they call red light district <laughs> you will already know what exactly I'm not going to show all the things uh, but I thought I will also a little bit walk around and a little bit show it's also nice to come here uh, but yeah I'm not going to show all the things because the vlog watch actually kids and families all uh, but this area is quite popular and um, what is bad here is actually the drugs can openly you buy ashish and these marijuana and these things uh, and uh, yeah, prostitute here around is really much but it's a really nice point just to come here to walk a little bit to see the area because it's quite popular here also and uh, let's go to see the other side also uh, I already walk over here you can see this that's the symbol of Netherlands and they call the Knumpen. Actually that was in the past the farmer they used this and that was made from wood. Here is something more interesting actually. If you see the houses here on top of that actually they have a white place and many people say that actually why they have that is a little bit strange actually. So actually the reason of that is in the past when actually here because it's really much water everywhere because they had a boat here coming so when they had a boat here and they had a food or like these kind of things to take out from the boat so they always use that actually to put the rope or things there to push that to take out that from there so that actually I'm going to show a little bit in the view also I'm back to the same place actually from where we start um, here is some museums uh, I'm going to show that also so 
we are going there and uh, yeah it's 8 30 already so when we see the museum and think this will be almost 10 10 30 and then we will start going back to belgium so let's go i arrived at at Rexy museum it is really nice building and really popular also if you can see that's from 19th century and the art if you can see that's from golden ages that was amsterdam it's always nice to visit to Amsterdam to walk around here I really recommend to my brother and sister from Asia India and Pakistan if you visit to Europe definitely visit to Amsterdam it's always nice if you spend two days I think you can already explore quite much depend on if you want to go inside the museum or not if you want museum then definitely you need two three days to explore all it's time to go back to home to Ganta and I hope you enjoyed all need support so subscribe like share with the friends and uh, see you in next video bye bye